Todd the Bod Gilbert here, host of Imperial Wrestling Entertainment's newest show, Aftershock, where we will be giving you highlights, behind the scenes looks at Imperial Wrestling Entertainment, and backstage exclusive interviews that you won't see anywhere else. So get ready for Imperial Wrestling Entertainment's newest program, Aftershock, with your host, Todd the Bod Gilbert. I'm not going to come out here and talk to you like I would talk to somebody from Team Ratings. I'm going to come out here and talk to you man to man as somebody who respects this you. This is what you've come to. Not only did you slap Jack Price in the face, a man who was your friend, but you slapped all of these people here in the face when you attack Jack Price from behind, do it the right way. I want you to shake my hand. I want you to apologize to these people. And I want these people to see the stuntman Mike that we all know and love and not whatever this is. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, oh, oh my God, stuntman Mike hitting John. John Campbell from behind with the helmet. One thing we can expect is for John Campbell to give it his all, as you're seeing here. He never stops. Oh! German. Wait a minute, what is that? James Gillinger from behind. Oh, the man! The miss! And Dillinger getting taken out. Wait a minute, from wait a minute. Stop in, stop in. Go for the small package. One, One two, two, three. three. I'm here with the IWE Gladiator Champion, Stuntman Mike. And after, well, I guess you call it a victory against... What do you mean you guess? Trip, well, I mean, in, in I beat him. One, two, three. I beat him fighting fair and with honor. What? what? Why do you think I'm the most popular wrestler here and an honest-to-goodness fighting champion? Speaking of champions, I, I gotta ask, where, where's the belt? Oh, I don't need to bring the belt here. I'm the champ. I do what I want with it. I got it locked up in a vault. You guys aren't going to see that till I feel like it's good and ready. So what's... And I don't even think it's worthy of me. I need a better belt. This belt was trash. I I'm going to custom make one myself. I deserve a belt that's befitting of this waist. So what's next? Speaking of... Let's, let's focus on other people right now for a second. Actually, you know, I'm the most important thing here. But, I want to focus on Jack Price right now. Jack Price and his undeserved title. I mean, Jack Price is now the World Heavyweight Champion. And it's all because of me. Who won that match for him? You saw the match. If, if it wasn't for me, he would still be on the bottom rungs of this company. And I think I deserve some gratitude from him. Don't you? Don't you? So, what's next for Stuntman Mike? Whatever I want. I'm the, you know, I am the gladiator champion. What's the name of this company? IW. What, what does it stand for? Use your big words. Imperial Wrestling Entertainment. Gladiator. Gladiator champion. That is the championship of this company. It's Imperial. It's not WWE fat person wrestling. I deserve the props I deserve. I should get all the accolades. And you people need to start respecting me. Well, there you have it. I'm, ow, I'm, I'm here with, ow, with the creature feature, John Campbell. After ow, tonight's events with team ratings, what, what do you... What's next? What's next? What's next? If I told you what was next, if I told the people at home what was next, they'd probably throw me in jail. 
They'd probably throw me in jail, Todd. You can't say those kind of things on TV. You can't even say them here on the IWE website, Todd. But that's okay. I'll give you just a little hint. You see, Team Ratings, what you've done, what you've done is you've angered the creature feature. You've angered Benjamin Brody and you've angered Rex Havoc. And as the old saying goes, you wouldn't like us when we're angry. Uh-uh. No, you wouldn't like us when we're angry. You see, I have Frank and Bucket. I have the hardcore legend, Terry Fork. And I have Team IWE. You know what that means, Todd the Bod? That means Team Ratings. On the next episode, welcome to our nightmare. I'm here with the tag team champions, JJ Hughes, Pure Fury, Jeff Klaus, Fast and Furious. Fellas, what are your plans going forward after tonight? First of all, Todd, you know, the thing is, awesome victory tonight. I'm uh, proud of JJ and myself. You know, we try to, we just try to do the best we can every night and entertain the fans and put on quality matches. And tonight was no different. However, our future is getting tougher by every day, you know. It's, uh, we got this D&D &D team coming up. I'm sure, you know, they'll probably want a shot at the belt. And, you know, rumor is we got Will Vendetta and Cody Lee want to take a run at our belts too. And that's fine. We're open to all challengers. We're the best tag team in the business today. And we, we will fight to the end. JJ? Improving every single time. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nate Wicked's trying to help up Jesse Brown. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute! Big job by Jesse Brown. And oh! Oh no, not again. There's enough damage done. No, 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 A second blue thunder bomb! They told me I had the day off, but I said no, because you guys wanted to see me wrestle, right? So Todd DeBaugh, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna issue out a challenge to anybody in the back, and I will put this championship at 55 line. pounds. Wait a minute, that's Jesse Brown. Wait a minute. I see you guys trying to make your name for yourselves. I get it. I'm champ, there's a target on, a, on my back, and I get it. You're trying to, I think stuntman Michael told you guys to come out here and do some work, huh? No, it's not stuntman. Shut it. Listen. <laughs> One of you, it's lucky today. Who wants the title shot? Jesse Brown still running his mouth even though he got kicked out by the ref. And the ref looks like he's still hurt a little bit too. Off the ropes! Oh! Diamond in the rough! Diamond in the rough! And Jesse Brown got hit as well in one, two, three! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and still IWE World Heavyweight Champion, the Black Diamond, Jack Price. Todd, 
the bod. Gilbert here with Todd the Bod, the bod baby. Right. How good, you doing? good to meet you, sir. Nice meeting you, baby. Here with the world champ, world, Woo! the Black Diamond, Jack Price. What a great, impressive showing today, sir. What's your plans going forward? What's my plans going forward? Well, well, you know, it's celebration time. I'm the champ. I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to go see Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy. What's the dog name? Pluto. Pluto. Good job. Listen, I am the IWE World Heavyweight Champion, and tonight I prove why I am the best in this business. I, got, I went against a guy named Gemini Taylor. You know him? Yeah, me either. Listen. Jacob Mercury, you won the little battle royal and now you're number one contender. You think you're better than me and there's only one way you can prove to the IWE fan club. Step in the ring with the IWE world champion. You see, I'm not afraid of anyone. I would take on Jacob Mercury. I would take on Apocalypse. I would take on anybody at team ratings. I just beat Gemini Taylor. Piece of cake. I hold this title of pride, and I'm not letting it go. I'm here with Jesse Brown and Gemini Taylor, a man who just came off a huge match with the world champion, the Black Diamond Jack Price. Fellas, What's going on? Hey, Wicked, as far as I'm concerned, it's trash. There's a new guy. A new guy's gonna help me get to new heights. A manager. You guys stay tuned for the next episode to find out who that guy. One moment. He's calling me right now. Now, you see. Hello? This is what we call greatness, right here. I was this close, I'm new here, and I got me a nice circle. So the next time I get a title match, watch what I'm wearing. There you have it. Fifths of team ratings, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, Craig Stossel giving Ricky Cartier the hey, get it show right. off. That gentleman right there is Apox. Is Apox still okay? looking at me? Is he still looking Mr. at me? I just Stossel. had Apocalypse staring well, me down. Like that idiot said, My name is Craig Stossel, and I'm the executive producer of this show, I, WE Battles on TV. Which, by the way, is not only the highest rated show for Mac TV Studios, but it's the highest rated show on all 13 channels that were available. There should be no doubt in anyone's mind that they're the, the, the number one team of wrestling all together. And there you see John Campbell, Rex Havoc, Benjamin Brony. Team IWE making their way to the ring. Shut up, gentlemen. You, sir, need to get out of here because you've already had a match today. You gonna stop me? Or is he gonna stop me? I can stop you. How about how about this? How about if, how about if I cancel IWE indefinitely? Only thing you training with Lance Storm means to me is you outsourced the job that could have went to a more qualified American. So unless you're gonna bring Lance Storm in here to help you, I am guaranteeing victory tonight for Team Ratings. I don't know what half of those words mean, but I think James Dillinger just challenged Benjamin well, Bruce. I believe he it did. Looks like Apoc's gonna take on not Rex Havoc, because you got the night off, pal. Really? Because Apoc's gonna take on the guy you just cheered for earlier, A Wicked. Wait a minute. For a match. Oh, oh, wait a on. minute. Here oh. falls on the signature finish in one, one two, two, three. three. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Amendment here is your win. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Not over. No, no, I forgot to say that this was under Stossel's rules. And when it's under Stossel's rules, instead of three counts, we go five counts. Ring the bell. Looks like this match is not over with yet. Oh, so, wow! Oh, he rolled wait. through into a half grab, and he's stepping on his head. Ladies and gentlemen, no, no, no! Hey, hey! No, no! Under Stossel's rules, there's no submissions. Ring the bell. No submissions either. You need to win by a five count, and that is it. Oh my, oh my god. god, another chair shot. Ladies and gentlemen, here. There's, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Under Stossel's rules, there's no disqualification. Ring that bell. So under Stossel's rules, you need a five count to pin. No submissions, no DQ. I love this match right now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh! It rolls them up. One, two, three, four, five. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, James Dillinger. I'm standing here with Benjamin Brody and Sir. After a heartbreaking defeat tonight, how do you plan to recover from this? James Dillinger. Hush! Team ratings. Hush! And at the lead of all these problems is Greg Stossel. Hush! Team IWE is going to get their revenge. And Team IWE is going to be the one standing on top. Hush! Hush! Some fans. And we're setting our eyes on new goals. That's right. We are going to be the next IWE Tag Team Champions. Oh boy. A preacher and a boy in a skirt. They lost their title space down in the dirt. They spend an awful lot of time together. They get confession for what seems like forever. That's right. They had on the outside of the ring. One, two, roll up. One, two, three. Here are your winners, Cody Leedy and Will Vendetta, the sons of sanity. There you have it. D&D might have lost their first match. But they put on one heck of a fight there, Tommy. Absolutely. They gave the fight to former singles champions here in IWE. I'm here with the Cody Leedy. And Cody, after tonight's events, what, what does this all mean? What does this all mean, Todd? I'll tell you what it all means. It means the sons of sanity. While we have had our setbacks recently, we are here to establish ourselves as the top tag team in IWE. I don't care if you're the best or the furious. I don't care if you're, if you're the Dynasty Force Corps. I don't care who you are. If you're a tag team in IWE, me and Brother Will are coming for you because guess what? Those tag team titles, they look pretty great in the collection plate. They look great in the mantle. They look great anywhere the Sons of Sanity wants to put them. You know why, Todd? YOLO! That's why. 
You got anything else, buddy? No, I think that'll do it. You're smart. I'm back here with a brand new tag team to the IWE. D and D. D and D, baby. D and D, that's right. Woo! Woo! Yeah, baby. Drake Hansen, there for right here. That's right. Now we're a, little, we're a little disappointed we didn't pick up the W tonight, but you know what? That's okay. We're here for one reason, and one reason only. Tell them the about ladies! Great. No, no, not the ladies. Not the ladies? No, we, we've talked about this. But they love this stuff. I know they love this stuff, but that's, that's neither here nor there, all right? You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. We're here for one reason and on, one reason only. The snack bar! No! Check the, look, the snack bar before the show was delicious. The scallops were amazing. Did you try the, did you try the hollandaise? The hollandaise sauce was great! It was oh so God. good! Where did they get this stuff? I don't know, they probably truck it in, so... You, you know, that's not the point! Did you guys hire a chef? Drake! 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 Props to this bow tie, man. I'm just saying. It does have dragons the Is that a D20? Right on, D20! Woo! Okay, now, why are we here, Drake? One reason. The tag team title! The tag team title! Woo! We're gonna take over the division, baby! And we may have gotten beat tonight, but that's okay. That's just the one loss. Everybody, everybody rolls a botch once in a while. Once Everyone's talking to D20, it happens. We had a botch, it was a, it was a nat one. You know, these, these things happen. But rest assured, we will be back. We will be ready. Constitution check success. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we can't, we, I got like a 16 on that. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, and mine's like a 15 minimum, so you know. Oh, I got plus twos. Plus two! Woo! Next time we're here, somebody else is going to have to press start. Boom. Cry myself tonight. Cry myself tonight every sleep. No, I, I messed that up. Yeah, you did. Another side effect of a divorce. It, there's no way. Wait a minute. Hey, Wicked, just on the mat. There's, there's no way. He's not letting this happen. He's not able to do this. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess you're no way to referee this match, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Apocalypse. Apocalypse is setting up the rep, and he slams oh, him right down goodness. to the mat. Oh, my Lord. He's dead. We just want you, and there's Dan Tanner. And James Dillinger cleaning up the old ref. We just watched the zebra die. And we got Dan Tanner out here right now. And Craig Stossel handing him an envelope with what appears to be money. I don't know. I just caught a glimpse. I don't know exactly what's in it, but I, I it definitely it was. Free was I'm no for at the very least it was incentive enough for let to let him run this like match as the referee. Playing with a mouse. Oh dear. Sets him up. No! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 Sets no, him no, up no, for no. Oh! The end is nigh for A Wicked! The end is nigh! Twice! One, two, three! Here's your winner! Apocalypse! Oh my! An apocalypse coming out with what looked to be an easy victory. But of course, with A Wicked so much in pain and already. Apocalypse just demolished. John Campbell! And John Campbell John comes Cody. out! Rex Havoc! We have Team IWE out here right now. They're clearing house! They're going after. Craig Stossel, who escapes over the back. I'm terrified. And we all have Rex Havoc and Apocalypse in the ring. We have a referee coming to the ring. She told us to ring a bell. We have a match. We have a match. A real match. Rex Havoc versus Apocalypse. I'm get excited. And Apocalypse dives into the corner. Missing Rex Havoc. Rex Havoc picked him up. Oh my God. Oh, and drop. From the skies! And a kick out of well, their feet now. Rex Havoc looking ready to set up. He yeah. went to pick him up again and it hurt his back. Black hole slam! And a one, one two, two, three! Here is your winner! 
Apocalypse! Apocalypse! Showing the eclipse! Oh, and then a vicious beatdown after the battle. Wait a minute. No, 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 I, there is that was John. too far. And Campbell and Brody out here. Someone needs to check on Mora. And Craig Styles will back. Apoc wants to take on all of Team IWE right now by himself. Craig Styles will telling him to get him out. We we need to get someone out here to check on Mora. But Apocalypse showing his dominance, taking out two referees. Jesus. There you see Sean Kent, Melvin Benjamin Brony helping Laura off to her feet. Thank God she's okay. That was too far. For even Apocalypse, for team ratings. Someone who's supposed to be the showcase of this establishment. I'm gonna look right into this camera and I'm gonna tell you, team ratings, you wanna come out here and put your hands on a defenseless referee? Yeah, she's a woman, but she can take care of herself, but she's a referee, she's not a wrestler. Team ratings, I say next episode, you try to do that to us. What do you say? Because this is Imperial Wrestling Entertainment, and that kind of stuff does not fly. No, you cut that off. You cut that off. John Campbell placing a threat to team rating. Absolutely. He's had enough. He's seen enough. He wants to end this. He wants to end the damage that Craig Stossel has been causing. He wants to end the damage that Apocalypse has been doing. But we'll just have to see how team ratings responds. On our next episode, November 12, 12, 14, November 14, Saturday, here at Mac TV Studios in Mount Pleasant. I'm here with Apocalypse, and uh, sir, after an impressive victory today, what, what's next? You bet that was impressive, Todd. There was three people from IWE that I just laid waste to. You have A. Wicked, Rex Havoc, and Laura Phoenix. You ask me what the next thing or the next step for Apocalypse is? It's destroying every member of IWE. And I'm going to get everything I've always wanted and asked for. And that is all of them versus all of me.